A couple of days ago, Gavin and I stopped off at this area. It's a, a waterfall and a bit of a canyon just off of the road to uh, Port Renfrew from uh, Cowichan Lake. And uh, the, the, the moss in here is just beautiful with the rocks and it even has a little bit of frost on it. Now the waterfall itself is quite far back so I'm not sure if I can get a, a very good or a very clear shot of the waterfall but I really do like these pools here. Now it's pretty cold today and I notice there's quite a bit of ice along the, the river edge here and in some sections it, uh, it's, uh, it's really quite deep. So I've put my hip waders on. Probably the best view of this waterfall is to stand in the center of the creek. It'd be nice to try and get something in the foreground like a little, uh, uh, a little waterfall leading up to the larger one. Like I said, it's quite far back so it won't really necessarily be the main subject. Uh, I think the rocks around uh, are probably much nicer to look at than the actual waterfall. But I'm going to give it a go. Uh, it's a beautiful little spot. I'm almost thinking of doing a, a pano because uh, quite a wide canyon. I think that might work really well. See what we can do. I've been kind of pottering around trying to find compositions and I think I might have found one that I, I quite like. I've made two or three and I'll, I'll put them in the video but I think this one might be probably the best one. The, the only problem with this composition is that the waterfall is quite small in the background so I'm relying on my composition and these beautiful rocks with this moss and frost on them to kind of uh, pull the, the uh, photograph through. So it's more about the environment than just this waterfall. Part of the problem with this waterfall is that it's quite far over to the right and you can't really see the full cascades. So I'll show you the composition that I have and, uh, and then we'll see the final image. So what I've done is I've, I've put this uh, rock in the foreground to try and break up the foreground, give a bit of uh, foreground interest and then we have this beautiful green uh, creek uh, to the right and to the left and then it meanders its way through down to the waterfall at the end there. So it's a pretty simple composition. I've kind of tried to frame it with these green rocks here. I would like to have a bit more of a gap between this, this foreground rock and the one kind of jutting out into the creek. Uh, but I'm not sure if I can get out to the, uh, to the right any further than I am. Uh, it gets quite deep all of a sudden. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really want to fill my, uh, my hip waders with water. But maybe I'll give it a try. Problem is, as soon as I go over to the right, then I start losing the waterfall, which is over to the right to start with. So I'll keep playing around with this and experiment, but I, I think this might be the one uh, that works the best. I took about half a dozen images this morning, uh, but these were the three that uh, kind of stood out from the from the pile. This first image here of the uh, red alder uh, mixed in with the boulders, I, I quite like it. Uh, one of the things that I, I really liked about this location was uh, the cool blue light that I was getting in here. 
Because the day was quite sunny, there weren't any real clouds and I was in the shade, I was getting all this kind of cyan blue ambient light and I, I really quite liked that. It, it went well with the uh, with the moss on the boulders and the little bit of frost that was on there. Now throughout this area there was a number of uh, red alders growing in between the boulders and I quite like this scene with the the stream behind the uh, the trees here and the log lying on the on the left side there. Uh, I did have to do quite a bit of dodging and burning. Part of the problem with this scene was that the trees were actually darker than the background. So for this composition I really had to burn in the background and then open up the trees with some uh, dodging and also the log that's lying down on the on the left side. I cropped it to a panorama because there was a lot of clutter at the top of the, the photograph and I, I, I just didn't want to spend the time cloning it out so I just cropped it to a, a pano. As far as showing off the environment like the surrounding rocks with all the frost and, and the moss, I, I think this uh, this image works the best out of the three. I really do like the angle with the uh, the foreground rock on the on the left side and the rocks on the uh, right side with the frost on top. The uh, the angle that I had on the waterfall that was about the best I could do. And as far as the uh, the rocks in the foreground kind of blocking the pathway, that does bother me a little bit. Now, I did take another photograph with a, a slightly wider focal length, and uh, I, I definitely like the meandering creek in the foreground better than uh, the image with the slightly longer focal length. The problem is, and I said this in my uh, description of my composition while I was there, the angle on the falls is a little bit awkward. Everything was over to the right, so I couldn't quite get to the bottom of the waterfall or the cascades, especially that second tier there and the top tier. It's funny, I was looking at the drone footage and there's some angles in the drone footage that I really like. So perhaps in the future, I should try and use the drone more for photography, because sometimes it's just nice just to get a little bit higher so you can uh, get above things and, and you're looking down and that way you can include a lot of the things that you're missing from uh, ground level as in this case uh, I'd probably be able to get the, the creek in the foreground meandering around the rocks there but I'd also probably be able to get the uh, the bottoms of the, uh, the little cascades there. Something else that this image is lacking somewhat and I, I guess that's with all of them is that it would be really nice if they had a little bit more atmosphere to them, uh, perhaps a little bit of fog or mist or, or just something happening in the background. Because at the end of the day, a small bit of haze or fog can really go a long way in creating mood and also uh, dimensionality to a, a photograph. Okay, now the last photograph here is a pano that I made out of two horizontal uh, photographs. Uh, I managed to climb up some of the, the boulders uh, along the creek side there and what I really like about this image is it, it really makes me want to go and explore even more. I really want to go into that canyon and just keep uh, climbing up that waterfall to find out what's beyond. As far as processing this shot, it was relatively simple. I uh, did a little bit of uh, burning around the edges just to kind of draw your attention to the waterfall. I placed the main falls right in the center. It, it just looks right to me. There isn't an awful lot going on uh, on the left side, but I do like the, uh, the mossy rocks. So I decided to uh, keep it in and not crop it out. The only thing that, that bugs me a little bit in this image is the, uh, the log that's coming down from the top center there or, or the, just to the left there. I tried to burn it in a little bit, uh, but it's a little bit of a distraction. If I had cropped it any higher where the log ended, then the light changed. There was uh, quite a bit of sun back there, so it, it just didn't look right to my eye. Also, there's another log on the, on the right side that kind of leads out of the frame a little bit as well. 
I decided to leave that in. I, it's not too much of a distraction. I darkened it quite a bit. I might be able to darken it a little bit more. But what I really like about this image are the textures and the color of the uh, of the moss and the rocks. They all have this kind of a bluey, uh, greeny tone to them. So I, I really like that. So the light worked quite well for uh, this image, I think. All right, if you made it this far in the video, uh, thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. Always appreciated. If you have any comments about any of the photographs, uh, things that you might have done differently or what you liked about the images, what you didn't like about them, uh, I'm open to all kinds of comments and they're always appreciated. All right, everybody, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you enjoy the content of my channel, be sure to subscribe.